Okay, everybody, this lesson is significance test for population proportions, uh, the difference between two. So this is called pooled. So this is where we're going to go swimming. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right. Uh, so uh, significance test helps us decide if the effect that we see in the samples is really there in the population. So the null hypothesis, just like before, is there is no change. The first proportion uh, equals the second proportion, okay? Now, they might uh, subtract P sub 2 from both sides and get um, uh, P1 minus P2 equals 0 right there. This just says the difference between the two is 0, okay? There's no change. All right, the alternative hypothesis just depends on what the question is asking. Does it say lower than, greater than, or does it say it doesn't equal? So it would be, you know, whatever the, it, uh, it's asking. So here's an example. Cholesterol and heart attacks. This is example 1212 on pages 707. 710. So uh, high levels of cholesterol in the blood are associated with higher risks of heart attack. Will using a drug to lower blood cholesterol reduce heart attacks? So the Helsinki Heart Study looked at this question. Middle-aged men were assigned at random to one of two treatments. 2,051 men took the drug, I'm sorry if I don't pronounce this right, gem fibrosil, fibrosil sorry, to reduce their cholesterol uh, level. And a control group of 2,030 men took a placebo. Okay, and so the, during the next five years, 56 men in the uh, Jim Fibrosil group and 84 men in the placebo group had heart attacks. Okay, so here's the first uh, 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 sample proportion, you guys. Remember, sample proportion has this sample hat, has a P hat. So P1 hat is, um, uh, they said 56 of them had heart attacks out of the 2,051. So the P1 hat is 2.73%, uh, or 0 0.0273, okay? And those are the guys that took the drug. The P2 hat is uh, 0.0410, the placebo group. So uh, that is about 4.1% of the men in the placebo had a heart attack against only about 2.7% of the men who took the drug. So is this, is this apparent benefit of the drug statistically significant? I'm going to try not to pronounce that anymore. So step one, we'll use the comparative randomized experiment to draw conclusions about uh, the population uh, one is the proportion of men that, that are taking the drug who suffered from heart attacks. And the population two is the men who took the placebo uh, and also suffered heart attacks. Okay, So we will hope to show that the drug will reduce heart attacks. So remember, our no, our no hypothesis is uh, there's no change. And since we want it to reduce, then the people who took a drug is going to be less heart attacks than the people who didn't. So this is our alternative hypothesis. So everything's the same. We just got a new form. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. Uh, I, sorry about these um, uh, different colored letters here, so don't worry about that. So to do a test, uh, standardize uh, P hat or the, the sample proportion 1 minus the sample proportion 2, uh, we're going to get a Z statistic. Remember, anything with proportions are always Z statistics, okay? So if your no hypothesis is true, then the observations in both samples really comes from a single population of all men of whom single unknown proportions P will have heart attacks in the five-year period. So if we're going to do all men, so instead of estimating separately the first proportion and the second proportion, we're going to pool the, uh, the two samples together and use the overall sample proportion to estimate the single population parameter P. Okay, so this is what's called a, a, sam a, a pooled sample proportion here. So our uh, P hat for both of them, for our pooled, you guys, this is a pooled P hat right here, a pooled sample proportion, is the X1 uh, plus X2. So in this case, it's the heart attacks 1 plus the heart attacks 2. And these are the sample sizes, the, uh, the 20... I think it's 2051 and, and 2030, I think. So, so let's see what those are. Okay, and then our Z statistic is this, you guys. We get each uh, sample uh, proportion, P1 hat minus P2 hat, and divided by the square root of this uh, pooled proportion goes right here and right here. So this is the sample pooled proportion together. Okay, and then uh, times 1 over um, uh, sample size 1 plus 1 over sample size 2. Okay, don't let that big formula scare you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a sample pooled proportion here. So here's our, uh, here's our pooled P hat right here. So 56 plus 84 over 2051 plus 2030. So we end up getting... Uh, 0 0.0343. Okay, so that's the number we're going to plug in. So let's do our checklist here. Okay, so um, uh, the sample size times the, the pooled p hat 
the sample size times one minus the pooled peat hat, and then this, uh, this sample size, and then this sample size. So we just got to make sure that they're all greater than five. And it did say in there, um, uh, well, there's certainly more than 10, 10 times the middle-aged men in the population than the sample sizes. But it did say in there that uh, it was a, a random sample, so it was a simple random sample. So we're safe. We're safe. To, we don't even need to say we're going to proceed with caution. Everything checks off here. So we're going to do a two-sample Z proce procedure, okay? So uh, the Z-test statistic is this, you guys. Let's go ahead and calculate the Z-test statistic. So it's just a, a, uh, we just plug in all the numbers here. So here we go. So here's the numbers we got from before. So there's P hat 1, P hat 2 hat, or P2 hat. And then, um, uh, and then we plug those in right there. So here's uh, the, the sample proportion, 1 minus that, and then 1 over the sample sizes there. So we just pick up a calculator and we crank it out. And so we get a Z-score of a negative 2.47. Okay, so um, let me go uh, right here. So if we have a standard curve right here, remember right here is z equals zero. Over here is z equals negative 2.47. So if you look at table A in our book, it's in the front of the book, you guys. Uh, you look up table A and you get uh, the, for the probability to be um, 0 0.0068 right there. Okay, so there's a picture that represents that. And since uh, the, uh, the p-value, the probability, is uh, less than 1%, uh, you guys, then the results are statistically significant to reject your null hypotheses. Uh, there is strong evidence that the drug reduces the rate of heart attack, and the large sample in the Helsinki heart uh, study helped us study uh, helped our, our study get uh, the highly significant results right there. Okay, now in your calculator, you guys, this is really easy. You guys, you just put in, you, you scroll down, you go test, and scroll over to, to I'm sorry, stats, and then test, and you do a two proportion Z test. These are proportions, and there's two of them. And you just plug in the information that they give you, and you make sure that you do uh, less than, and then calculate, and there's the numbers that we get. There's that 0 .0068 right there. Alrighty, if you're sitting in my class, I would assign that as your homework. Okay, take care.